What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis and today I'll be counting down my top 10 mattresses in a box. Now most of the mattresses you'll see online do come out of a box, but that doesn't mean they're made from the same materials or feel the same. So I'm gonna go through why each of these mattresses made the list and give you a little bit of information on who I think would fit best with each of these beds. But if you're looking for the full reviews or up-to-date pricing and coupon information, you can check that out on sleepopolis.com. But for right now, let's jump into my list for best mattresses in a box of 2020. First up on the list is the Casper, my choice for the best mattress for side sleepers. Now what position you usually sleep in is probably the most important factor when trying to buy a new mattress. Finding the correct support level and firmness is extremely important when it comes to waking up well rested and pain free. Side sleepers can be especially fussy about the firmness of a bed because of potential pressure points at the shoulders and the hips, which is where the zone support system of the Casper comes into play. Now the zone support does two things. It provides a softer feel at the shoulders and provides firmer support at the hips, which means you're going to sink in further for some nice pressure relief. You don't get a jammed up feeling and it also promotes neutral spine alignment. Now I should note that the all foam Casper is probably the most popular bed in a box option out there, but it also comes in a hybrid version with pocketed coils if you are interested in a bit more bounce. Either way, it uses a zone support system. So if you're a side sleeper looking at a bed in a box, go with the Casper. Next up is the Layla, which is my choice for the best memory foam mattress. Now, when I talk about the different materials used in bed in a box mattresses, memory foam is usually the most well known due to its ability to allow sleepers to sink into the mattress for that great body contouring feel. It's used in a wide range of different sleep products. The Layla is an all foam mattress that has the option for two different firmnesses, but regardless of the support level you choose, it uses a high quality memory foam for comfort. Now the firmer side of the Layla uses an inch of memory foam and has a medium firmness that I like for the back sleepers out there. While the softer side has three inches of the same memory foam providing a plusher feel that's really great for side sleepers. Now if you are worried about memory foam's penchant for trapping a bit of body heat, Layla has included a copper infusion to help draw heat away from the sleeper, help you sleep cooler throughout the night. So if you're a memory foam lover looking at a bed in a box mattress, you should start with the Layla. Next up on the list is Nola, my choice as the best soft mattress. If you're not concerned about the sleep position or what your mattress is made of, then support level and firmness is next up on the list. And while some people prefer the bounce and sturdy feeling of a firmer bed, for others, the cloud-like comfort of a soft bed is more to their liking. If you're part of the second group, then the Nola mattress could be for you. Nola uses a memory foam substitute called air foam to really allow sleepers to sink deep into bed for some nice pressure relief. I mentioned that air foam is a memory foam substitute, and while it does provide the body contouring comfort that memory foam lovers might be used to, it's actually a bit more open-celled and breathable in structure, and what that means is that where memory foam might sleep a bit hot, NOLA's air foam does a better job at cooling throughout the night. I generally recommend the NOLA to the side sleepers out there, but anyone looking for a bed with a softer feel should check out NOLA. Bear is my choice as the best mattress for back sleepers. While side sleepers may prefer a softer mattress, the back sleepers out there are going to need something with a little bit more support. The Bear uses an all foam construction for a medium firm feel that I think does a great job of keeping their hips from sinking in to promote proper spinal alignment. Now, along with that firmer feel, the Bear uses a graphite infused memory foam layer for some body contouring comfort. Along with that nice mix of support and comfort, the Bear Mattress uses a salient cover. Salient is a pretty interesting material that there is some evidence to suggest actually helps with athletic recovery. Now, I've mentioned a few times that memory foam can be known for trapping a bit of body heat, but Bear combats that with that graphite infusion to help draw heat away from the sleeper, help you sleep a little bit cooler. I should mention that Bear also makes the Bear Pro and Bear Hybrid mattresses. I find them both to be a little bit softer, so I find that the original Bear Mattress has the firmer feel that I like for the back sleepers out there. So if you are a back sleeper, try sleeping on a bear mattress. Next up, the Wink Bed is my choice as the best pillow top mattress. Bend up box mattresses have been super popular for a few years now. And while the trend started with all foam beds, there's now a number of different builds available. The Wink Bed is a bed in a box hybrid mattress that uses a coil on coil structure for a more traditional feel. It features a pillow top section of hypersoft foams for comfort over pocketed coils for bounce and support. 
The wing fig comes in three different firmness levels. I personally tested the luxury firm version and found it to have a medium firm support level. That's really great for the combo sleepers out there. Regardless of the firmness level you choose, it does have a zone support system that's really great for side sleeping spinal alignment. And finally, thanks to the gel infusions in the foams and the tensile cover, I found that the wing bed did a really great job of sleeping cool throughout the night. So if you're looking at bed in a box mattresses but want a more traditional feel, check out the wing bed. Helix is the best mattress for back pain. Waking up with pain in your lower back is actually one of the most common reasons for searching for a new bed. The best way to ensure you start your day without lower back pain is by finding a mattress with the right support level for your specific sleep style. Helix makes a wide range of hybrid mattresses designed for sleeping in different positions. By finding a mattress with the right firmness and materials, Helix actually promotes healthy spinal alignment to avoid back pain. The standard Helix line has six different mattresses ranging from the soft sunset up to the firm dawn model. They also have the Helix Plus, which is designed with more support with the needs of heavy folks in mind. And all of these standard Helix mattresses come in a Lux line for those that are interested in a more luxurious feel with zone support. So if you're looking for a mattress to avoid back pain, start your search at Helix. The Brooklyn Bedding Aurora Mattress is my choice as the best cooling mattress. For those of you looking for a new bed because your current mattress traps too much body heat, the materials used in the construction of the mattress may be the most important factor. The Brooklyn Aurora is my choice as the best cooling mattress because it was specifically designed for the needs of hot sleepers. It uses things like a face change material cover, which has a cool to the touch feeling, as well as Brooklyn's proprietary Titan Flex Foam, which does a really great job of providing pressure relief without trapping heat. Along with its great cooling properties, the Aurora has a soft feel that I like for the side sleepers out there. I should note that it is a hybrid mattress, so it has some nice mobility to it. So while you will sink in for a bit of pressure relief, you're not gonna feel stuck in the layers at all. And finally, I really like it for the couples out there because it does a really great job of isolating motion transfer, and I was really impressed with its strong edge support. So if you're looking for a cooling mattress in a box, check out the Brooklyn Aurora. The Birch is my choice as the best latex mattress. While most of the bed in a box options out there use polyurethane based foams, latex is a great substitute that offers some clear advantages over the alternative. The Birch is a bed in a box hybrid mattress that uses pocketed coils to support a Talley latex comfort layer. And that combination gives the Birch a ton of bounce and firmer support that's gonna have you feeling more on top of the mattress. One advantage of latex over polyurethane based foams is that it's a more natural material, meaning it helps to keep the use of chemicals out of the mattress construction. Birch also uses wool and cotton in its cover, which is going to make it a great organic bed option. And another advantage is that latex tends to be a bit more durable than polyfoams, meaning this bed is built to last, which is proven by its 25 year warranty. So if you're interested in latex bed in a box options, check out the Birch. The Purple Hybrid is the best hybrid mattress. Now I've mentioned a few times that not all bed in a box mattresses are made of all foam these days. Hybrid mattresses typically use a combination of polyurethane foams and pocketed coils for that nice mix of support and pressure relief. The Purple Hybrid is a little bit different. It actually uses Purple's proprietary hyperelastic polymer in place of polyurethane foams. Hyperelastic polymer is a really interesting material that has some really great bounce to it and sleeps really cool. Along with those advantages, the hyperelastic polymer is set up in a grid structure, which is really great for pressure relief. And the polymer and the pocketed coils pair very nicely for some great mobility, so you won't feel stuck in the Purple Hybrid. I should note that the Purple Hybrid is a little bit on the firmer side, but they do offer the Hybrid Premier if you're looking for a softer feel to the mattress. So if you want the pocketed coils of a hybrid bed in a box, check out the Purple Hybrid. The Tufted Needle is the best mattress for the price. Now, there are a ton of factors that come into play when searching for a new mattress, including sleeping position, materials used, and support level, but cost is no doubt a huge factor as well. The Tufted Needle is an all-foam, bend-a-box mattress that has a medium-firm feel to it. It has a no-frills, two-layer construction, and it comes in at a great value price. When I tested out the Tough Needle, I was pleasantly surprised with its firmness level. I think it's really gonna help the back sleepers with proper spinal alignment. I should also note that Tough Needle uses a proprietary foam that's a bit more breathable, helping it sleep cooler than other foam mattress options. Finally, I was pleasantly surprised with the mobility of the Tufted Needle, so while you will sink in a little bit, I don't think you're gonna feel stuck in the mattress at all. So if cost is the number one concern when looking for a new mattress, then Tufted Needle is the way to go.
And before I sign off, I do want to answer some frequently asked questions that we receive here at Sleepopolis. First up is how long do bed in a box mattresses last? Now that depends a lot on the materials used in the construction of the mattress. Obviously high quality foams are going to last longer than lower quality versions of the same materials, but the most durable material is probably latex. And that's shown in the fact that latex mattresses tend to have the longest warranties on the market. Next up, do mattresses in a box need a box spring? And the answer is no. None of the mattresses mentioned today need a box spring. They'll all actually work on slatted bed frames. However, if you have a box spring that you love, feel free to use it. And finally, can you sleep on a mattress in a box right away? And I do recommend that you give them a few hours to decompress so you get the full support and feel of the mattress as they will continue to expand for about a day. However, you can sleep on them a few hours after you open up. Ideally, you do wanna let it happen overnight, but if you don't have that option, a few hours will be enough. So that's it for my list of best mattresses in a box. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. I gave you a little bit of information on all these beds, but if you're looking for the full reviews plus up-to-date pricing and coupon information, you can find it at sleepopolis.com. Also be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements and head to Sleepopolis for all of your sleep needs.